had an engagement with FIFA where they gave us just fifty thousand dollars. You know, I think on the current exchange rate now, it's around nine hundred and thirty thousand rent. You know, you will never be able to be able to to host a tournament with that kind of a, a, of an amount. You know, so that's why it was important first to really thank everybody who has been involved from the sponsors, from the organization to be able to do this. But the talent development scheme has a couple of important pillars. And one of them is the, is the development of the national team. You'll, you'll also agree with, with me that the, the trajectory of the technical development of our national teams has not been excellent. So I could have opted for academies, I could have opted for competitions, but I thought it was important for the association if we are going to reboot where we are going, that we start with the under-15 national team. And we build this program from scratch, and we, have, we involve all the provinces, whether it will be scouting, whether it will be, will it be tournaments, but we select the best players there, the elite players that will come up there. But in order to make it exciting, and also to broaden the pool of the players that will come through, why not involve some of the exceptional, professional, elite academies? And that's why Super Sports Sundowns and Chiefs become part of this. Because remember, it's a pilot project. And of course, for the interest of having a lot of media presence and also the uh, little bit of encouragement uh, of having schools also there. You know, we're also inviting Peter Musibani Soccer Schools to be part of this because they have another element of QO which will also help us to really be able to navigate the progression of the game in South Africa. So the tournament will really serve the purpose of helping South Africa to qualify for the World Cup. <laughs> I'm quite certain with what I've seen this year with our 2006 and seven groups that went to Poland to play at the UEFA tournament and also the under-17 team that uh, really lost in the quarterfinal uh, in, in Algeria, that we are, we, are, we are on the right track. So it's going to be important that we start with this group. This group will, will then go into a national academy next year. Yesterday was a strategic meeting for the association where we have budgeted also a certain amount of money that we are going to take the best of these players. They need to be going to a high performance center for boys so that they can train five times a week and so that we can be able to beat, to beat uh, uh, Senegal. We are not going to be able to be a powerhouse in Kosafa if we can't beat Malawi and Zambia because their programs are a little bit stronger. So it's important that we start a little bit early. The boys have to train every day and hopefully in 2025 will go to the World Cup. 2025, it's important that we win Kosafa. We have a, a very, very good showing at the AFCON in 2025. And of course, go to the, to the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. So the journey starts here. And that's why if you want to reboot the system, we have to really start from the, from the bottom. So that is, that is key. That, is, uh, uh, that really drives the, the interest of this program. We are going to extend it a little bit. Because this group is only the group that is based in South, in South Africa. We also have players in the diaspora who are in America, who are, in the, who are also in, in Europe. We have shown interest to come and play for South Africa. So they will also be included in the, in the broader scheme of us moving forward. I can also confirm, VP, that we have already received uh, an invitation from Ghana and from Zambia to play this under-15 national team. So maybe sponsors who are here and uh, maybe potential sponsors, whatever, We'll try to have a, a four nations this year of this under-15 team so that by the time they go into the academy, they are ready for, they are ready for battle. So I really want to thank the team, the sponsors, the association for giving us uh, this platform for us to be able to develop the game in a good way. Also, uh, VP, lastly for me, is that we've already budgeted from the FIFA money in this cycle to have another interprovincial tournament. How are we going to do it? The team will decide but we're going to do it at under 13 level. So the girls are not left out. It's going to be girls under 13 program, similar to this, but maybe the team might want to change the direction. So that also, we start with the girls program at under 13 level. So we are hard at work. You know, we are hard at work and the, the program looks exciting. Uh, just finally, from my side, uh, partnering this program also is that on the 7th of July, we're also going to have a workshop for the coaches who are selected from the provinces so that also we can share a lot of trends from the under 17 national team, invite also the national team coach, uh, Mr. Hugo Bruce, to share also what they do at the top, have also the trend analysis from the under, and under, under 17 AFCON there, so that the coaches at that level can really understand where we're going. 
So once more again, uh, leadership, the vice president, and the team, thank you very much, and good luck. Uh, let the best team win, and uh, let's, let's, let's be together in this program, because this program will never be able to be possible without the support of everybody else. Thank you very much.